think I'm pregnant. <laughs> well, I'm having babies. I know that. Doc's having babies. Uh, I think my Bermuda seed is germinating. It's kind of surprising. We've had some really cool temps. Uh, I'll take you over and show you. Hold on one sec. Hey guys, if you haven't watched uh, the video on this putting green we have over here, basically we put down a ton of human char, we aerated, um, we put down a leveling mix with a little bit of organic material, and then we've been sanding and rolling and watering, I've been keeping it moist, but we've had kind of cooler temps. I mean, we've had some mornings that are in the low 40s, so I came over every day, I've been looking, and finally I got on my hands and knees, <laughs> and I'm checking. Uh, and last, a few days ago, I came out here and sprayed it with the new Super Juice. Now, the new Super Juice has a new formula. If you don't know about it, watch that video. If you don't know about Humichar, use Humichar because someone came over and saw my garden that helped me install it today. Uh, Doug, who has the beard like me, and he freaked out. He said, dude, I need to use your fertilizer. I said, dude, you need to learn how to make this humichar dirt. His plants are only about 12 inches tall and mine are four feet tall. I'm telling you, make that humichar dirt for your gardens. Anyways, let's go over here and take a look. So, here's what idiot Doc has been doing today. I have been on my hands and knees looking and I'm trying to find little sprouts that I see. And then what I'm doing is I'm trying to dig up this sprout to see if it's connected to a, a full-size stem or that's yeah, a full-size stem. Now that looks like a baby. Let's see. Let's see if I can get that to come off. Oh, what are you? What are you? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that is an independent little sprig right there. And I can see a little hole on it. I can actually see a little hole on that. So let me get my camera. I want to take a picture of this for you on my cell phone. All right, so I don't know if you can see that or not. That's a little baby plant right there. That's a piece of Bermuda grass that's germinated. And I can tell because there's still a little hole attached to it. See that little hole at the end of it? Let me get some sunlight on it. No, it's not kind of hot. There you go. I think you can see the hole on it. Down at the base of it, you can see the hole on it. A little orange kind of hole. And that tells me it's uh, baby Bermuda. such an idiot so that's good news it's good news that I have my baby grass starting to sprout I'm so happy I was worried more so about the temperatures because the temperatures have been like I said we've been getting some lower temps even though we're getting high 70s once in a while an 80 um, I was kind of worried so I'm excited now all right so today is May 11th and I planted this on May 2nd. So what's that, nine days? Nine days to germinate. And the one that I'm picking up, the orange seed is actually blackjack. <clears throat> um, and I know that for a fact. The Yukon seed that I put down, I put down both. It had a white hull, but the blackjack had an orange hull. And the blackjack is already germinating after nine days in cooler temperatures. That's pretty cool. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. I mean, really, the main thing we've done this year for this is, obviously, I keep telling people, if you're not putting out PGF Complete every three weeks right now, put it out. Drive the growth and make it thicken up. Once you've fed your lawn enough, then you can switch over to doing lots of human char every month, heavy human char, and then spray a little super juice, you'll be all set. Now, we are also experimenting this year with this... Um, with this organic matter that's doing really well, by the way. The chicken feed, I'll put it in the description below. I'll put a link to everything in the description below here. 
uh, go to the web page and you'll see a link toward the PGF Complete, the Humichar, the Super Juice. But I said last week, the other day when I sprayed this green, that the Super Juice really has some kind of interaction with the seed and you get a higher percentage of germination on your seed. So, just for you guys that are wondering, um, yes, this is a good time to seed. Uh, May and June is a really good time if you're going to seed Bermuda. Really good time. The temperatures are right. The only thing you have to do is you have to be committed to watering. That's all I'm going to tell you. you. You can't let them dry out. You got to keep watering, watering. I'm coming out late morning, early afternoon, soaking it. And then if it's really hot and dry out, I'll come out one more time in the afternoon uh, or early evening and make sure that it stays a little damp overnight. And that's really helped it out too. Now, let's just take a real quick peek at the garden. I know this is a seed video, but um, Doug, who helped me install this garden, was actually shocked. I show him some pictures of this. And <laughs> he helped me build these boxes. And he was here when we were making our humichar dirt. And he said, man, I showed him pictures. I said, now these things are over four feet tall. And he said, my plants are still about 12 inches. And he planted his just about a week after mine. I said, mine all loaded up with fruit. And he goes, you've got tomatoes? I said, yeah. And then I showed him a picture of the squash. And these squash plants, I keep saying this, these squash plants were, these squash plants were, what, eight inches tall? Look at these monsters. And these things are monsters. I mean, look at the squash I already have. It's just crazy. The only mystery I'm trying to solve, the only mystery I'm trying to solve is my pepper plants. My pepper plants should be a lot taller, but they've got peppers all over them. I mean, they're short and they've got peppers. And I'm thinking my, when I sent this soil off to Clemson to be tested, all the nutrients were off the chart. And so I'm wondering if maybe because it had such strong phosphorus when I planted them that it's kind of limiting them, but they're doing fine, they're healthy. Now this is a, another pile, this humichar dirt that I mixed up. This is what we're using for all of our flowers, gardens, everything. It's a little bit dry, I need to water it right now. So I'm gonna water this and then I'll turn it. Man, it smells delicious. And then all the peas are growing like crazy. We put some of that humichar stuff over here, humichar soil. Anyways, guys, if you're planting seeds, I just want to let you know, good time to do it, May and June. Plant them, make sure you get them in, watch that video. We talk about trying to get them a quarter of an inch deep in the ground. Make sure you keep them wet, put down humichar, put down a light coat of PGF Complete if you want, but spray them with Super Juice too. Um, and just leave them alone. You don't want to put down any, someone asked, and after you plant seed, you don't want to put any weed killers or pre-emergence or anything, I would say, for the first season. Just accept the fact that you're going to have weeds. <laughs> leave it alone. Just leave it alone when it grows. It's the same thing with new sod. When you're doing new sod, I always tell people the same thing. Just leave it alone the first year. You can attack the weeds the next year, uh, but this first year we want to be we want to be real gentle with it. Just accept the fact you're gonna have a few weeds. Let me show you a new addition I put up today. Isn't that cool? It's one of those old porcelain signs. I have a reproduction in the garage, and this is the real one. That thing's heavy as crazy. And then my wife was amazed because I actually came out here and organized the shed. <laughs> I actually got oh, I almost busted my butt. But uh, I got just about everything hung up here. I got everything hung up, and now I actually have some room. So I got the beasts over here, and I got room for the John Deere. I'm actually organized. That's amazing for me. Because usually my shed looks like my mind, and my mind is cluttered. <laughs> what are you doing out here? <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, uh uh, no. You don't go hunting lizards like that. 
What did you see, a bee? You see lizards? There's some lizards. Chipmunk, I hear chipmunk. Anyways, guys, a uh, busy week coming up. We're going to be pressure washing the driveway. I have a couple people coming over to help me. We're going to do a little bit more leveling out front. I'm going to show you some tips on leveling. We're going to be using a special leveling mix. Um, I got all kinds of stuff, so hit subscribe. If you want any of the products I'm talking about, go to the link below and it'll take you to our website. Later, Doc.